guys and welcome back once again so guys today i have brought in some good questions from the recent allen srg booster test papers okay like these are their special rankers batch test papers so i have brought in not all the questions are not worth doing so i have brought in a few good questions from those papers which i found should be brought okay like worthy of being brought so guys this is the first question and let's start off so if you want you can try out your hands on this question once maybe i will wait for a few seconds and then i will start off solving okay so quickly guys let's do this so a b c z1 z2 z3 are three complex numbers satisfying the equation mod z equal to 1 so basically mod z equals to 1 means they are lying on a unit circle first thing so quickly we will draw a circle my circle is not perfect but anyways whatever it is and they are also satisfying the relation 3 z1 is equal to 2 z2 plus 2 z3 okay 3 z1 is equal to 2 z2 plus 2 z3 okay now guys the twist in this question is actually you can do this question without drawing a circle it's possible to do this question only using properties of modulus and some other things like that is pretty possible but that will take you a lot of time okay so this particular equation here is actually very useful if you can manipulate this in a way so that it actually affects you advan like it makes your advantage easier then you will come to know that your answer is hidden in this particular equation itself okay so guys look in carefully actually this equation is something that they have given us so that we can ascertain the positions of z1 z2 z3 or the orientation of z1 z2 z3 on the circle so basically what happens is i will write this thing as 3z1 plus 1 into 0 and this is equal to z2 plus z3 and when i take this z2 plus z3 a 2 will come out common right so what i am doing is i am taking this thing here look in carefully i am taking this thing here writing this like this 2 will come to the denominator right so to produce a 2 here what we can do is we can take a 2 here and we can write this thing as 4 and what is 4 4 is basically 3 plus 1 okay now like if you have observation skills really powerful then you will observe that z2 plus z3 by 2 is the midpoint of the line connecting z2 and z3 line segment and 3 z1 plus 1 into 0 by 3 plus 1 this is actually section formula okay so what this tells us about the orientation that the orientation will be something like this so if we take a to be here z1 and obviously there will be a center c okay c is already given right so let's take it to be d d is the center c point will be here as c z3 b point will be here as your z2 and there will be a line segment joining b and c and there will be a line segment joining the center and a why center because center is actually the origin of the imaginary plane that is why this point here is zero right that is why this point here is zero so basically what this is telling us what this expression tells us if these two are equal basically this and this being joined this line segment is obviously midpoint right this particular point here is the midpoint but for this line segment da it is the point such that this point divide this point divides the line segment da in the ratio 3 is to 1 okay so actually they have given us everything but it only the only factor that depends is whether you can see or not anyway so guys like the next thing that strikes to my mind is because we know that the radius is equal to 1 so let's take say if we take this point to be say some e let's take de to be some 3 lambda and ae to be lambda so 3 lambda plus lambda which is 4 lambda is equal to the radius 1 why because this is the circle so lambda comes out to be 1 by 4 right so if lambda comes out to be 1 by 4 we can easily calculate the distance be which is your root under 1 minus i guess this will be your your 9 by 
16. Now why? Because 1 minus 9 by 16 actually what is happening is this is 3 is to 1 ratio. Okay. Don't take this to be 3 is to 1, 3 centi like 3 units and 1 unit of length. This is lambda by 4. So basically this distance when you calculate the distance here this will become 3 by 4 and this distance will become 1 by 4. This is ratio. This is distance. Okay. Please note the difference. So that is why this becomes root under 1 minus 9 by 16 which becomes root 7 by 4. Now if B is, is root 7 by 4 then B C will be 2 times of root 7 by 4 which is root 7 by 2 and they wanted us to calculate mod z2 minus z3 so everybody knows that mod z2 minus z3 like the difference of two complex numbers within the modulus obviously not only complex numbers even if in algebra like when we say mod of x minus 1 it actually denotes the distance between a point x on the x-axis and the point minus 1 sorry not minus 1 point x on the x-axis and the point 1 on the x-axis it denotes the distance in between them that is the primary purpose of modulus, right? Like if you have read your, if you have, if you don't know this thing, then please know. Okay. We are taught modulus, like we have done a pretty lot of heavy sums on modulus and all, but the basic meaning of modulus is actually this. Okay. Modulus of something minus something is actually used to denote the distance in between them. If I say modulus x plus 1, then this is nothing but your modulus of x minus of minus 1. So basically I am trying to denote the distance between the point x and the point minus 1. Okay. This should be clear. If you don't know still then please clear this out. Anyway, so this, this is the distance between the complex numbers z2 and z3. So that is actually bc which comes out to be root 7 by 2. So guys this question is done I guess. Uh, I will quickly check in the option. Which one is the correct option. I guess option a here will be the correct option. Okay. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. Okay. So here is the next question guys. And this is a pretty interesting question. Like good, not difficult, but I will say manipulative. So if you want, you may try this out. Maybe I will wait for a few seconds and then I will start solving this. Okay, so guys, uh, moving into the solving, first thing that we are going to do is this is f of x given as equal to, I will write the question once. This is your root under x plus 2 times root 2x minus 4 plus of your root under x minus 2 times root 2x minus 4. Okay, so what we are gonna do is I will first of all take like we will build something from this, okay? Just see what I am doing. Basically, I will write this x as x minus 2 plus 2. And after that, I will take a 2 common out from here, that is root 2 common out from the entire root. So, 2 root 2 times of root x minus 2. So, guys, now if you see carefully, this is nothing but your, like this is coming into a whole square, right? Root x minus 2 plus root 2 whole square. Very similarly, the next one also will be x minus 2 plus 2 minus of 2 root 2 times okay not 2x minus 4 this will be root x minus 2 okay that was the only thing you actually had to see nothing else so if you now manipulate this this will be root x minus 2 whole square plus root 2 whole square right so i am directly writing it this will be root x minus 2 plus root 2 and root x minus 2 minus root now, there will actually be a mod here. Because a plus b whole square I can understand, but for a minus b whole square I have to put a mod. So, we are going to check for which value they are telling us. So, first value that they have said is x equal to 3. Okay. So, for x equal to 3, I guess there will be no problem. I guess the... Okay, wait. For x equal to 3, let's judge. x equal to 3. No, no, I was wrong. X equ for x equal to 3, this sign will change, okay? Like this, the term inside the modulus is actually becoming negative. So this will flip. So basically f of 3 will come out to be, like for x equal to 3, f of x will come out to be root under x minus 2 plus root 2. And this will actually become plus root 2 minus root x minus 2, okay? 
So actually x terms getting cancelled f dash 3 will become equal to 0. Why? Because we are differentiating a constant, right? Okay. So moving on to the next one, which is x equal to 6. For x equal to 6, I guess the modulus is uh, remaining same. Because this is root 6 minus 2, which is 4 minus root 2, positive. No, so root 6 minus 2, which is root 4. So 2 minus root 2, yes, it is again positive. So f of x will come out to be root x minus 2 plus root 2. And this will be plus of root x minus 2 minus root 2. So this and this getting cancelled, f of x becomes 2 times root x minus 2. So obviously this can be differentiated. So if we differentiate this thing, f dash x, pretty easy differentiation. This will, I guess, come out to be your root x minus 2. And obviously a 1 by, like, 1 by 2 root x minus 2 and the 2 constant remaining outside, the 2 will fit in here. So 2 and 2 getting cancelled, this will be 1 minus root x minus 2. So your f dash 6 will come out to be 1 by root 6 minus 2, which is 1 by root 4, so 1 by 2, which means f dash 3 plus f dash 6 will come out to be half. Okay. So the correct answer for this question, guys, will be half. Uh, the option has gone too far above. So guys, just check it. Go a few seconds back and check whichever option is correct. Okay. I have solved it. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. Okay. So guys, here is the next question. And I guess this will be the last question for today because the videos are getting too long. So I will maybe make three questions per video. That is, I guess, convenient for you and me also. So guys, this is, uh, if you want, you may try the question out once, obviously. I will wait for a few seconds and then I will start off solving this. Okay. So guys, let's start off. So A, B, C are distant complex numbers with mod A equal to mod B equal to mod C equal to 1. Important piece of information. And after that, we have z1, z2 as the roots of the equation a z square plus b z plus c as equal to 0. So from relation of roots or what we very famously call as Vieta's formulas, okay? If you don't know, relation of roots are also called Vieta, 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 Vieta's formulas. So from that relation of roots, we can actually write that your z1 plus z2 is minus b by a and your z1 z2 is c by a okay and we can also write one more thing because p and q representing complex numbers z1 and z2 in the complex plane are on an angle such that p o q p o q is equal to theta so for that actually we can represent your say z2 as z1 e power i theta okay i hope everybody knows this Okay, so guys, what we are doing is I will take the moduli on these relation of roots. So mod z1 plus z2 will come out to be what? Mod of minus b by a, which is equal to 1. So mod z1, z2 will come out to be mod of c by a, which is also again equal to 1. So if we square up this particular relation and write your mod z1 plus z2 whole square, then this will be mod z1 whole square plus mod z2 whole square. And I hope you all remember the formula. This is two real part of Z1, Z2 conjugate. Okay. So because mod Z1 and mod Z2 are both one, this is one. This is one plus one plus two real part of Z1 and Z2 conjugate. So if we want, we can simplify this and you will eventually see that this thing simplifies to a real part of z1, z2 conjugate to be equal to minus half. Okay. Now, because we know z2 is z1 e power i theta, so we can write this as a real part of z1 into conjugate z1. Like, what is the conjugate of z1 e power i theta? Conjugate z1 into e power minus i theta, right? So, this is equal to minus half. So everybody knows that z1 and conjugate z1 will cancel. So e power minus i theta is equal to your, okay, real part of this e power minus i theta is equal to minus half. So I guess this will be your cos theta, 
is equal to minus half. So theta will become 120 degrees, which is 2 pi by 3. I hope everybody understands why I took cos theta because from Euler's form e power minus i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. It will uh, it will be I guess cos theta minus i sin theta. So we take the real part only. That is why I took cos theta. Okay. So theta comes out to be two pi by three. Okay. Now question is not done. We have to also find the distance PQ. Now PQ like the uh, I guess the first question PQ is nothing but your mod z two minus z one. Okay. So what is this? And this is nothing but mod z one into e power mod of e power i theta minus 1. So if we put mod z1 is obviously 1 and if we put theta as your 2 pi by 3, so e i 2 pi by 3 minus 1. Which means this will come out to be, I guess, from Euler's form, this is come out, thing coming out to be minus half plus of i root 3 by 2 minus 1. So this is coming out to be I will write this. This is minus 3 by 2 plus of i root 3 by 2. So obviously we have to find out the modulus of this thing, right? So this will come out to be root minus 3 by 2 whole square 9 by 4 plus root 3 by 2 whole square which is 3 by 4. So 9 plus 3 12. So this comes out to be root 3. So angle is 2 pi by 3 and distance is root 3. PQ has come out to be root 3. So I guess your option number B will be correct. Okay, uh, okay, and option A is telling B square is equal to AC. Okay, option A is also correct. B square is obviously equal to AC, right? Because all of them are 1. So if we take mod on both sides, you will get all to be 1. So A and B will be the correct answers for this particular question. Okay. Anyways, so guys, as I said, I will limit today's video to three questions only. Otherwise, video will get too long. And I will be back with more questions from this paper, surely enough. So guys, if you have liked my channel, do like, share and subscribe. Any doubts or anything that you want to say, you may come out in the comment section as always. And do join my Telegram discussion chat for good preparation discussions on your JEE. So that's it for today, guys. And thanks for watching.